So Barnum recognizes the fact now it's time to do something, to live up to all that I've been preaching about. And he does decide to run for the um, legislator for the town of Fairfield, actually, gentlemen, um, in 1865. And I'll just read you what he basically says. It has always seemed to me that a man who takes no interest in politics is unfit to live in a land where the government rests in the hands of the people. So he felt, even though he was a party man, but he wasn't partisan, he was not a wire puller, that he would really continue uh, and try to pursue being a politician so he could work to abolish slavery. Now, slavery, the 13th Amendment was, um, it, it wasn't ratified yet, but the 13th Amendment was in play, as uh, the 14th Amendment was also coming up where it would broaden citizenship. So Barnum believed in these principles and r really wanted to advance them, not only in Connecticut, but certainly on a national level. And he was so offended by the uh, Nebraska-Kansas issues of advancing slavery, it became time. Now, he gets elected in 1865, and actually in this building right here, and it's going to be a little creepy because uh, I just want to read a couple of his words that were said uh, in 1865 in these, uh, in these chambers. Well, perhaps not these chambers. But he recognizes the fact that Connecticut had to be more progressive, and he fought to eliminate the word white from the Connecticut Constitution, and he wanted to support voting for all men, which then became the 15th Amendment. And he says in these chambers, Mr. Speaker, I am no politician. I came to this legislature simply because I wish to have the honor of voting for two constitutional amendments, one for driving slavery, slavery entirely out of the country, the other to allow educated men of good moral character to vote regardless of color of their skins. To give my voice to these two philanthropic, just, and Christian measures is all the glory I ask legislatively. I care nothing for whatever for any sect or party under heaven. As such, I have no axes to grind, no logs to roll, no favor to ask. All I desire to do what is right and prevent what is wrong. <laughs> 